All right, guys, here's my 2022 Boom Vader. So today we're going to be doing a rear fender delete. I'm not getting rid of this because I still have to register it and stuff, but what I am going to do is I'm going to be getting rid of this rack. So first thing is first, you're going to put your key in the, in the thing right there. You're going to pop your seat. And then after you pop your seat, there's going to be um, these four screws right here. So these four screws... Uh, there's going to be one right here, there's going to be another one right there, one back here, and then another one right here. Now, one thing to be mindful of is because I tried to do this earlier, but if you make connection with that, you're going to get a lot of sparks. Not sure if it's going to shock you or not, but uh, it for sure caught me off guard. Um, but yeah, just be careful about making contact with that. Alright, so after you get that last screw out... What's going to happen is this entire rear end is going to you know, fall out right there. So you're just going to like slide that out from under there and then like bam, that's done. So now you can choose to leave this on there or take it off or do whatever you want. I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to put it back on there. I just wanted to get rid of that rear rack, make it look more sporty. Yeah, so once you get those screws back in, just get it from the back. That's what your rear end is going to look like on your bike, pretty much. It's going to, uh, it's just going to be missing that rack, but it looks much better in my opinion. Yep, so now all you got to do is get your seat back in there. And then, uh. You're pre pretty much your rear end delete is finished and uh, your bike's going to be looking a lot better.